My weight is 340 pounds, bicep, 25 inches. The body isn't really meant to be between 330 and 350 pounds of muscle. I decided to break the boundaries. What do you got that's gonna get me absolutely massive? I'm trying to get age. What? Welcome to my hardcore and abnormality channel. Shredded squad science. Fitness, comedy, social media, satire. Welcome to the fitness industry playlist, a comedic poke at fitness industry silliness and myths with the intention of helping people to avoid certain pitfalls. I also got an update. <laughs> this looks like a really weird episode of Borat. I don't even need to make a caption joke here. Just look at that cat's face. I don't speak cats, but clearly that expression means get me the f out of here. I found my new source of comedy. He had me at the chest and cats video. This was just a bonus. A quick public service announcement. All right, guys, so I'm scrolling through the comments and I see that this guy's telling this guy how to do it and what the video is about. That's not your job. That's my job. And I'm going to teach you why that's my job why you're not ready for it. Dear Michael, making jokes about arrogant fitness YouTubers is not your job. That's my job. And I'm gonna teach you why that's my job. Why you're not ready for it. That wasn't editing magic. That was genuinely his introduction from one of his recent videos. Scientific translation. Sit down, shut up, stop discussing fitness in the comment section, know your place. Is what he was projecting. The classic top-down model of fitness communication. I'd rather watch the trophy talk, to be honest. The one great thing about the Titan crew is that you get the one person given the information. If you blindly listen to him, firstly, you would believe that he has a naturally attainable physique. Be feasting on $700 duck eggs each night, taking handfuls of supplements with your breakfast and frogging your way down the street to get your groceries. I would rather take a knee to the gut from Natalia. <laughs> Then listen to this man preaching about his self-importance in the fitness industry. But I will be discussing his new supplement range, as I promised before that I would do that when it dropped. The time has come. This company rings a bell. If you're looking to burn body fat and attack those stubborn areas of the body, the lower abs, the love handles, mid-back, Shredding gel is the perfect product for you. This guy is making these statements and selling this shredding gel whilst wearing a t-shirt that says integrity. Of course, Mike had to name the flavor Natty Juice. I keep saying it, the world is a simulation. Can we take away the supplements and hand out red pills? And so I will explain his supplements later in this video where my purpose is not to tell you what to do. It's up to you whether you buy them or not. But I have no skin in the game, so I want to give you the truth about these supplements based on the evidence base. Now that I've made friends, this video will look at a range of supplements being sold by these mass monsters. And the common denominator is just the sheer amount of supplements they're pushing, the mukbang of supplements that I call it. If you have to make a time lapse of you taking your supplements in the morning, you know it's too much. As well as me wanting discussion from you involving health and fitness in context of this video. Negatives about being, you know, 350 pounds of muscle, I would definitely say it's like tying your shoes, taking a shower, um, you know, going upstairs. Firstly, thank you to those of you who watched the last video. Some great discussion about these fitness tests and also some funny jokes. But we can discuss, debate, critique, and have fun without the need to hate, cancel, unfollow, or vaporize people. Is this fellow downing his 400 supplements with a Bear Grylls style drink there? The old surviving in the desert homebrew. And so as usual, I'm not telling you to like or dislike these people's social media profiles. I'm not telling you what to think. That would be weird. The purpose of this video is to project and discuss some underlying messages and to have a bit of fun. Let's start with the term mass monster. Some interesting vocab there. It's not a term that I created. It's ubiquitous amongst the fitness industry. If you look in YouTube, you'll find endless videos with a mass monster. And I'm not part of the fitness industry bubble. So let's continue. Introducing Ilya Gollum, who refers to himself as a mass monster. I'm not a fan of the fake grown masses. Good luck trying to social distance in that aisle. Gollum versus Boogeyman. Is a budget horror movie I want to never see. Gollum met his family. And a 16 and a half thousand calorie daily monster diet, or what we know on YouTube as a standard mukbang fitness challenge. Cha-ching, cha-ching. And so this is an extreme physique, of course, these 300, 350 pounds of masses. A huge proportion of muscle on the frame. And their goal is to build mass. That's how they market themselves. I'm just trying to get here. What do you have that's going to get me huge? 
they embrace the mass monster term. It's a badge of honor. Clearly that's their projection. So the use of that term mass monster is not derogatory. It's something they embrace. And so his marketing on his social media is all about getting huge. As long as it's not Tony huge, we're good. And so that's their personal decision, but they're certainly not projecting a health message. Your heart can only take so much weight on it, but I don't plan on being like this big forever, you know what I mean? But on the other side of that, of course, what they do is their decision. It takes a great deal of dedication and discipline and drive. And Craig Glass explains how all consuming this lifestyle is. And it's 24 hours a day. So if you're not eating, you're sleeping. If you're not sleeping, you're training. If you're not training, you're eating more. If you're not doing cardio, it's just like there's always something, you know, like you blink and you got to do something differently. And there are deeper and more serious conversations to be had here. It's just kind of like a pyramid, you know, you keep on going and going and going and you just tell yourself when is enough and you never want to stop because you are never satisfied. And so under his video, there are a mixture of opinions as you would expect under any video like this. That is a huge table of food. Rafts of fitness YouTubers are now rushing to their cameras to record this calorie challenge. And so I find it interesting how these mass monsters sell legal supplements. So let's get to that. Martin Ford is perhaps a mass monster, not the same composition as the other guys in this video, but he is a large fella and he's becoming successful in the TV and film industry portraying that persona. Here he is with Hollywood A-list actress, the very talented Charlize Theron. And so here is his explanation of the start of his journey. I was lost when I finished playing cricket. I was convinced I would turn pro and that would be my life set out. With injuries, bad luck and just losing love for the game, that never happened. But the void was never filled. I knew deep down I needed to succeed at something, that I had an ability to shine in some way. Fast forward to today, I'm traveling the world with fitness, made two films with three more already lined up, not to mention three businesses to my name. And he's also overcome health scares recently, so he does have a story of being set back and getting back up. So I wanted to have a look at his video clip with with Simeon Panda and this advert came up and have the perfect body but it was all nonsense but the hilarity of Vince having many costume changes during the same speech was not lost on me nor the vomit inducing content of the speech related to Hollywood A-list actors and their secrets to fat loss now we have another incredible offer on the fat burners the silencer and double tap the double tap and silencer the names of fat loss supplements are getting more creative when the names of supplements start resembling James Bond films you know the market's oversaturated the ideal fat burning combo but why? Well, it's quite simple. And so I have so many videos on fat loss supplements where I explain that they cannot significantly and chronically hack your fat loss over time, that fat loss happens on a per needed basis, and that fat loss comes from consistently hammering at the scientific principles underlying fat loss, which lead to lipolysis and beta oxidation. Double tap is a stimulant. It has an incredible way of giving you the extra boost and energy needed first thing in the morning or pre-workout. Whereas the silencer completely non stims the ideal fat burners to take before bed. But there is a niche within the fat loss supplement market for non stim supplements. And these supplements essentially have no stimulants in them for people who don't react well to stimulants. However, if you look at Martin Ford's video, recommending taking two fat loss supplements per day, one in the day and one before sleep, is just something that I could never agree with. And this is a massive problem in the fitness industry. This projection of so many different supplements, which people lead to believe that they need and they don't. And so let's get to Michael O'Hearn and his new supplement line. And I'm gonna teach you why that's my job, why you're not ready for it. And so with supplements, I ignore the marketing trying to draw you in. I look at the purpose of the supplement. I look at the ingredients and the dosage. And so the test booster is junk, and I define that by having multiple ingredients in it, which are not evidence-based for its purpose. If a supplement does have multiple ingredients in it that are not effective, based on the research we currently have, then it's junk. I will go through three of them, which is three too many. My view is there should be no supplements sold where the ingredients are not strongly supported by an evidence base. I understand that companies do that star next to the ingredients and say not supported by the FDA, and they can sell them, of course, but if I was someone selling supplements, I would want to make sure that every single ingredient was strongly evidence-based and that every dosage was clearly given. For example, creatine has a strong evidence base, and so I have no issue at all with people selling creatine supplements. A proprietary blend is not a good start. I don't know the individual dosages because they're hiding them from me. So even if the ingredients are effective, we don't know if it's an effective dose. And it's three capsules for one serving, which is a lot. That means you run out of the pills a lot quicker and you have to buy more bottles. And so Tribulus Terrestris is not evidence-based, I've discussed this before. And in addition, I want to direct you to one of my older videos where I explain the nuance of increasing your tests naturally. And I project what the evidence base is showing you, not my opinion, that if you have lower test levels, yes, increasing them naturally 
can potentially have a difference to your muscle growth. However, if you are in the normal natural range of test levels, then increasing within that normal range is not strongly evidence-based to have some significant boost to your muscle growth potential. However, further nuances, if you are in those super physiological ranges, which you can achieve by taking under the counter naughty supplements, then of course that can greatly impact your muscle growth. And to be real, that's what all these people are doing. Ashwagandha, more evidence-based for reducing anxiety than boosting your test. I think I need a few tablets going through this review. To be fair, it did show a positive effect on test increase in a study on addicted male rats. But for resistance training in humans, research is still at the preliminary stage. And it's ingredients like this which leads me to project that this supplement lacks quality. And then we have an anti-estrogen supplement. And one of the real issues with this is the potential side effects. Whereas if you get the dosage wrong, it may actually lead to an aromatizing factor, which leads to an increase of estrogen. And then we have fenugreek, which is a mixed bag. There is some research to support that it can increase your free test. But again, there is conflicting research. And when we look into nailed on, research, a strong evidence base, it's very much conflicting and more work is needed. And so when you look at any product like this, the prop blend, the lack of dosages given, many ingredients which are not strongly supported, some which are just absolute junk, that is why I could never recommend a product like this. However, it is Titan approved. Cha-ching. <laughs> his joint supplement, which contains beef collagen. I've already discussed this in a previous video in relation to Kino Body. The reality is that Greg is selling a skincare product. His joint supplement is better than the test supplement and they don't claim muscle growth from it as Kino Body does. And so the body of research we have at this point does show some benefits of collagen supplementation and collagen synthesis in the body, which can translate to connective tissue function and support. However, importantly, as Trekler states, it has to be combined with vitamin C intake. But again, the prop blend makes it problematic. For a more full explanation of collagen supplementation, please watch my other video on it. Supplement industry, clean up your mess.